Welcome to Fairhope, Alabama, the home of the Fairhope Green Home Project, the state's first National Association of Home Builders certified green home. Come on inside. This cottage features five spacious bedrooms, four bathrooms, a gourmet kitchen, a luxury master suite, a keeping room, an outdoor kitchen, and a detached garage. It's a dream home, all right, but like we said, it's also a green home. I'm very pleased with the way that this project turned out. Bob Chatham of Chatham Design Group designs custom dream homes, and he's the one behind this beauty. It's very easy to build the house with green features that will save energy and save on your utility bills. Just knowing, you know, what the steps are. And that's what we're trying to do here is just to communicate the steps. Hey there, Jeremy. Wow, beautiful home here. Helping to communicate those steps is the builder who brought this green home to life, Jeremy Friedman. Thank you. It's the first certified green home I've ever built. And uh, one of the great things about it is a lot of the techniques we use can be used in existing homes. Friedman of Fairhope Custom Homes is a certified green home builder. Green building is energy efficiency, water conservation, indoor air quality, and resource efficiency. So let's get started. You'd never guess by looking, but this house is packed with recycled materials. See this beautiful mantle? It was made from a pecan tree that used to stand on this very property. Now that's a conversation piece. We were able to use a variety of reclaimed materials in the house, including antique cypress front doors, heart pine flooring reclaimed from some old warehouse beams, and of course the pecan wood that we were able to salvage from a tree on the property. The mantle in this are my favorite parts of the house. They, they really give the house a sense of place and tie it to the land which it's built on. It's fantastic. All the wooden doors come from FSC certified replenished forests. The kitchen cabinets are made in the USA with no formaldehyde, and all the paints and finishes throughout the house are low VOC. By selecting a low VOC paint, not only are you protecting your indoor air quality, but the environment at large. All the appliances in the kitchen are Energy Star certified, which can save the homeowner up to 50% of their water and electric usage. The tile backsplash in the kitchen has recycled content to it. It's recycled glass tile. A quick look overhead reveals conservation in action. All the lights are on dimmers. And for all the lamps in the house... We used compact fluorescent bulbs almost exclusively. On average, 60% of a family's water bill goes right down the drain. Fortunately, there are ways to address this wasteful problem. Water conservation is a very important part of green building. We use all low flow fixtures, shower heads, faucets, and even toilets. This unique toilet is a dual flush. It uses less water for the number one flush than it does for the number two flush. If you can imagine, that's going to save a lot of water in a day's time. While we're in the bathroom, notice the timers on the vents, making sure moisture is removed without wasting energy. Come on, there's more to see upstairs. The attic hides a wealth of green home additions. So let's take a look at the heating and cooling system for the house. We chose a geothermal unit, which takes the heat out of the house during the summertime and sinks it into the ground, okay. literally. And during the winter, it takes the heat out of the ground and puts it into the house. It's much more efficient than a standard unit. In fact, this slow-moving meter is monitoring just how efficient. The heating and cooling bill for this 3,600 square foot home averages just 73 bucks a month. And a side note, the waste heat from the unit is used to heat water for the house. So essentially, the hot water is free for a large portion of our year in our climate. And we are surrounded by this white fluffy stuff. Jeremy, what is this? This is open cell spray foam insulation. We put it on the underside of the roof. It makes our attic conditioned space. We run our duct work through conditioned space so we don't have mold and mildew issues. We sealed up the attic so there's no water intrusion, no, no humidity. It just solves so many problems for us. It also helps to seal this baby up as tight as an envelope, which even further reduces heating and cooling costs. A green home and green additions to your home are designed to conserve and protect our natural resources. And that translates to savings for you. Just take a look at the difference. The geothermal unit can save up to 70% on heating and cooling costs. And properly sealing the house can help save even more. High performance windows can save between 13 and 20% on heating and cooling costs depending on the climate. 
Consult your local window expert for the right type of windows for your area. Dimmers can reduce lighting costs by up to 30% and compact fluorescent bulbs can offer up to a 66% savings over incandescent bulbs. Energy Star appliances can cut appliance energy costs by up to 50%. Low flow water fixtures can cut water consumption in half and each dual flush toilet uses 40% less water than a regular toilet. Wow, all of that can add up to big monthly savings for you and for the environment. There are a lot of factors that contribute to making furniture green. That's Melanie Liberti, the lady behind the beautiful earth-friendly decor for this green cottage. They're using natural fibers such as bamboo, hemp, linen, or cotton. It's sleek. A lot of the woods, they try to ensure it comes from forests that are replenished. Something very stylish, but that's also environmentally friendly. This is the coolest table in the master bedroom. A really neat thing about this table is it's made from one of those um, renewable raw materials that we were talking about, mm -hmm. and it's actually a recycled aluminum. From the special touches inside to the outdoor decor, everything is green. Even the landscaping and turf were part of the earth-friendly plan. Everything you see does well in this climate, reducing the need for extra watering and chemicals. This is something that you could easily do to an existing home. Well, the good news is local plants are locally available. Right. And then the weather-based irrigation controller can be added to an existing system. You want to take a look at that? Yeah, let's All go. Right. So the weather station outside, it sends a signal to the controller. We've programmed the water requirements for all the different zones out there so it knows when to irrigate and when not. It's a setup that conserves water and takes a chunk out of your water bill. You can incorporate many of these steps into your existing home. And if you're building something new, investing just 5 to 7% more can make your dream home a green home, complete with all the beauty and architectural style you value. For more information about the Fairhope Green Home Project or to find your new dream home, visit www.allplans.com today.